anyone else feeling a little bit of deja vu? Well, that is no surprise because not only have these four teams already met in Group A this season, but they have given us two of the best matches that we've ever seen at a Final Four. Now, to get this far into Lanxess Arena, you're going to have some good stories to tell. But this season, these four teams They've got enough to write a book on. This really is the stuff that films are made of. We've had injuries, financial difficulties, coach switching, and of course a complete and utter U-turn with Barcelona revolutionising their state of play. Never have we had four teams from the same group make it this far. And not only that, they are four champions from their home leagues. Now, I am just on my way, making my way through to the locker room to talk to some of these legends with another legend himself, Tom O'Brannigan, and we'll be chatting all things handball. So we'll be making our way through. This is very, very exciting. And uh, yeah, we'll be finding out all the gossip, all the insider stuff that we really, really want to know about. And obviously the journey of these four incredible teams. So uh, there he is. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Right. I've got one question for you. Are you ready? I was born ready. OK. Now, I mean, everyone remembers the big win 10 years ago, but Everyone is going to remember the 10th, and it has been a roller coaster so far. So let's take a look at the best bits of Cologne 10 years. Well, I, I really cannot believe it's been 10 years, 10 years of wonderful memories, and now in 2019, a chance for four teams to make some new memories. Welcome to the Locker Room Show. Hannah, you've already seen, walking down, that was a long walk. <laughs> That's a good walk. And the first semi-final is uh, Vesprem Kielce and our two guests, uh, Vitame, Vitame Julen. Vitame Sardesne. Wait a minute, I've got another line there. Dziękuję, że dzisiaj przyszedłeś. Nie ma sensu. Yes, correct. And uh, bienvenue, because I know that tu ne parles pas le hongrois. Okay, but it's good to see you guys. You're looking very good, very dapper. All right, very dapper. Give, give us a 10 out of uh, whatever for the uh, suits there. Um, I think just because it's very original, very unique, I think the high score needs to go over here. Nine out of 10. But very smart again, nice shoes, eight and a half. It's very close. What about the button? The, the button. top button. The, the top, top button. button, I have to say, I think, I, I think you should loosen it up a bit. No, I think it could be loose. Somebody like likes like that. it. That's good. He you look good. You look very smart, guys. <laughs> he's very, he's very French. Everybody okay? Every, you've come here. Are the team's ready all, to go? All is perfect. Locked and loaded? Locked Fit and, loaded. and healthy? Injuries? How are we with all of that? Perfect, of course. Everybody is healthy. This is fine now. Always we are okay. Fantastic. You've got, you got to be ready to go. Right, now, obviously, as we saw, Julen, tell us about that winning goal. I mean, wow. Does it still give you, still give you goosebumps watching that? Yeah. Exciting. It's incredible. You, you can believe no, that you win a tournament, but uh, this is story, and now we must do uh, read again uh, history for of the, our group. I know what I said when he walked up to take that penalty. I said, I can't believe they're sending Julian again Galdi up to take a penalty to win a game. But he did. You don't believe, no? I didn't I, believe. I don't. I know. I know. I didn't. I didn't believe. Me too. <laughs> Look, everybody is going to. Everybody's going to talk about this. This is a rerun of that amazing final. Contan, you weren't there, but I was counting. There are seven guys on that Vesprem team who were there. Mm -hmm. 
what's the talk been like uh, this week? Actually, we didn't talk. I don't so believe it. <laughs> we talked a little bit about it, but you know, we tried to to write a new story, kind of. And uh, what happened is is the past, and uh, it's probably painful for for West Brim and the players who who were um, who were in the team in that time. But uh, I think yeah, it's a new game. It's a new game, so we we really have to, like Julian say, write a new story. It's Julian. 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 We're all here. Julian. I mean, for God's sake, get it right, Conte. You know, what are you doing here? You know? And I'm only kidding. Listen, it has been a bumpy road at first from uh, Vesprem, but let's remind ourselves how they got here. I was at that first game over in the Vesper Marina, I'll tell you, I never would have believed watching that team play they would have gotten here. It's a bit of a Hollywood story, isn't it? Yeah, it is a Hollywood story. It was a hell of a journey, that's for sure. Um, I think nobody uh, would expect us in, in this position right now in the beginning of the season, but uh, a lot of things changed and it turned out that uh, it was the, the right decision, I'd like to say. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, but to both of you, really, are you surprised that Vesprim are here? I mean, it has been a, a difficult journey. Like, are you surprised yourself? I think that it's very difficult to be here. Of course, there are a lot of favorites, but uh, this is a regular tournament. You must be good when what you must to be, and Vesprim has uh, and very good this tournament, and they are here because they are a great team. Yeah, but it wasn't a magic wand. I mean, Davis didn't just walk. Uh, people have to be reminded of that. You know, there's a, there's a kind of a new story now that sort of says, oh, David Davis. But when he first went there, it took time. Yeah, of course. We lost uh, some matches. Some? Um, with lost three, three yeah. matches in a row when he came. We won the first one, then we lost uh, some matches in the Hungarian League also. So it was uh, really tough. And uh, But I think being here is kind of the result of the work we put, we put in. Yeah, uh, well, if Vesprem was a bumpy road, Kielce's road led through the injury room. I mean, they defied all odds, but here they are, and this is their story. I don't think anybody smiles like Talent Dujabayev. I'm telling you, when I see that man smile, it just brings a tear to your eyes, Julian. I mean, it's, what, an, what an amazing journey for these guys. It really, really was. And I don't think we can not mention the 10-goal uh, game against PSG. That was absolutely incredible. Everyone's still talking about it, rightly so. Yeah, it was very difficult, of course. We know that when we was fourth in the group, it was the worst way to, to be here in Final Four. It was a big favourite in, in our way, but uh, we make a fantastic match in in Kelce. We win uh, uh, one of the favourites for 10 goals, and after, I think that it was very difficult to uh, at, at in Paris. You know, when we play there, uh, they have a lot of goals of difference. It was a very worst moment, uh, but we at the end we was. In, in a good moment, and we've been we lose for a lot of goals, but uh, we was you, here. In, you were like in the field. guys hanging off a cliff by your fingernails at one stage. But the ten goal win, Julian, I, I, nobody saw that. Count on, did you see them beating all your guys? I mean, I say your guys, the French guys. Did you see them beating Paris Saint Germain by ten goals? Ten goals is a huge win. Of That's course. a big win. Yeah, yeah, but they uh, they put a lot of intensity and a lot of uh, of passion in this game, and you didn't do. It. Uh, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Sometimes it's better to have the first game at home. 
Yeah, that's right, because it's always that idea that you have the second one away, don't yeah. right? Yeah. And I was going to say about being at home, I mean, wow, the fans absolutely loved you. When you went off to the second leg against PSG, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a send-off like it. You went out in style. It was incredible, really. We didn't wear this. Uh, our fans, they are incredible fans. Uh, they are always with us, I remember. Uh, a few years ago, when we lost with with Bardar, for example, uh, for ten goals, and we come back to train uh, at home, and there was uh, all the people was supporting us in this training. You know? I think that it is very important for us when you lose for ten goals. Sometimes uh, everybody want to kill you, and they were supporting us, and it's uh, we are I, so I, proud of them. Both both of those both of those uh, clubs of great uh, great things. I want to run. Uh, I, I've got two very quick questions for the guys that I want to ask them uh, before we get to the the Instagram things. So the first one is Petrus wrote this quote. He said, you must want to defend to be a good defender. And this year you've been defending a lot, right? Julian, I mean, uh, talent has put you in there. And I mean, could we say you're a good defender? I mean, if we spoke to the guys from the Spanish national team uh, about the way you play football, uh, I think nobody would say that you're a good defender. In fact, the word is that you never run back to defend when you're doing uh, your football. Uh, of course. Now that's only I heard that from a few spies. I don't know. I, know, I, I, I know. cannot it's, name names. I know. If like I Victor Tomas. I can't say his name. <laughs> he ran a lot, but he don't score. So I don't remember what he <laughs> scores the last time. I, of course, I can make five, six goals every match and be the goalkeeper. Yeah. If I will be like this, I will be playing football in Real Madrid or something like yeah, that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, in fairness, that's what we know you best for. That's that's your style. But you have been defending as well this season. The team really has needed you to go back in there and uh, do a job. Yeah, maybe that this year uh, we have uh, another very very good and incredible pivot guy uh, like Archen Karalek. He plays yeah, very player. good and yeah. we have uh, play half a match every one. Uh, when, we, when we play half a match, we can play in, in defense and in attack, and it's, I think that is good for, for our team. Content, we're gonna we're gonna go to you because, um, and I think what we really want to know is, tell me why. Nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah. tell, tell me why. why. <laughs> you want hey, me to sing now? I think oh. you should. I join think us. I think you are <laughs> my fire, my, my one, one desire. Anybody? Yes, I know. I took it too right, far. All yeah, right, you, you, you went you went too far. Went too far. Too far there, Hannah. Too much if anybody hasn't seen it, check out Instagram where the new boy band from Vesprem, Quentin and Kent, are doing a very. The only word I can use is camp version of um, an amazing performance. Amazing. It was a good performance, except when you look at the far end of the table and you see Momir Illich with his head <laughs> in his hand, going, "I don't know that guy." Yeah, we were in a good mood in that time, you know. It was good. You deserve. Was that after the eleven goal victory or after winning the uh, Hungarian after winning, championship? Yeah, after winning the championship. Nice. You sing whatever you want. Yeah, it's good. We're we're in a good mood, and this is uh, kind of this song we would like. Kent to play. was really into it. He was really. He I mean, he was actually, doing the whole hand thing, and actually, That's how they celebrate. he's the 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 main coordinator of this of this song. Actually, he is like he brought it in, and he is. It's a religion for him. Oh, so it's not the first time he's, that you two have uh, duetted like he's that. A, he's a boy band, boy band guy, is he? Yeah, yeah. He's, oh God, uh, I will never look at him the it. same way again. <laughs> He's in trouble. Uh, now, Hannah, you've got some uh, yes. some dodgy questions from uh, from uh, from dodgy. the viewers. We picked really good ones. Okay. Now, oh, a lot of the okay. fans have been getting in touch, so thank you for sending those through. So, uh, this is to both of you. This is great from Simona Margetic. Okay, what is the funniest story you have from the final four? Any pranks? Any jokes going on? Something that's made you laugh a lot? Well, he can't tell you any because he's never been here. You are a virgin, right? I'm a virgin. No, but from the process of being here, getting like the <laughs> road, vierge. the road to final four. I'm not virgin. <laughs> you're, no, you're not. <laughs> I don't. I don't know now. Of course, no, I don't know. Funny, the the best moment was when when you win, but. Uh, <clears throat> I really don't know <laughs> what funny moments. We are so concentrated. We are very focused here in, in our tournament. And maybe when, when we finish or sometimes when, when you lose or, or you win, you finish this tournament and there is coming the, the funny moment. Which nobody can remember because you drank so much, right? No, it's quite Never. not. And They're very serious here. I know, serious I know, top here. athletes, top athletes. <laughs> right, OK. 
So next one, what songs do you listen to while you're getting changed in the locker room? You are... Probably that one. <laughs> it's not the, the song we're listening to in, before <laughs> I, the match, obviously. My but goodness. Yeah, I don't know. Our DJ is uh, Roland Mikler. Not the best one, I have to say. But Tell me more. Nah, I mean... What's he do wrong? He knows, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. He's putting the music and uh, this classic, you know? We have some kind of rock music and also a lot of uh, house and and uh, yeah pumping ones I would like to say is that is that what you need you need the do you need the pump yeah you're a young guy right I mean you're a little bit we old have do you need the pump? Sweets, but I don't, we don't have music in the dressing room you <laughs> no. don't have any music no. in the dressing no, room no 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 you're not allowed no why talent Jadek Jadek Jadek, Jadek uh, did you buy <laughs> granddad did you buy not yet but soon no jet, no jet. But once he has a once he has a little grandson or a granddaughter, then maybe uh, he allows music on the. I don't know if, if he wants or he don't want, but we don't have this. this Is kind it of because music. It, you're so focused that you can't? Yes, will be. Wow. For this By reason. the way, he's he's got a. Uh, you have a little baby girl, right? Uh -huh. Do you sing to her? Yeah. What, what, that what? song. Yeah, but these are you know songs for children in French, so. Oh, go on, do one. Oh. Sous le pont, something like that. Something like this. I'll tell you, these guys are great. <laughs> He'll sing it to us later. What have we got? Okay, and uh, Julian, this is for you. What's it like to be facing former teammates as coaches in your rivals? What, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to be facing former teammates who, you know, as coaches that were your rivals? Okay, no. Julian, here we go. No, 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 here we go. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down for you. We'll break it the, down. Coach, the coach of Vesprem yeah. is Davi Davis, yes. who was your former teammate. So what is it like mm. to know that a guy that you once loved, you held closely like a brother, is now the opposition coach? Now I have problems because there are more ex uh, players who I play with them, and like a uh, coach line. And not uh, like players. I know that Roberto is in Bardar, David is in 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 Vesprem. Uh, I think that I am too old. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you guys must make some really good lifelong friends from just people being on your team, from moving about and stuff. So, d is there real rivalry, or is it just like seeing your mates? I think that when you are playing uh, the match, yes, it's a rivalry. But uh, outside, I think that it's uh, we are friends, and we will be always friends. Chanta. The other side of it is that Davi Davis was once the Padawan learner from the Jedi. Are you a Star Wars fan? Not really. Oh, damn. Doesn't work then. Uh, he's, he was, you know, he, he learned at the feet of uh, talent. Yeah. So how motivated is he? I mean, is he be giving you guys a little bit of, oh, yeah. 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 Yes, of course. And also all the coaches are Spanish, you know, so it's... Uh, uh, sorry, I have to stop you there. I have to say that one of the coaches is Catalan. Yeah, of course. Okay, Calm sorry. down, sorry calm down. Irish is a language as well, by the way. <laughs> but you know what I mean. And David is I agree, too, but, but I asked him and he said, uh, and he ah, said okay, okay. Catalan Spanish. He's, he, okay. he's going for the, okay. the hashtag. Mm -hmm. Is it a hashtag or a... Yeah. Slash. Slash. Yeah, more slash. Jeez, why am I learning English? If you want some ideas in English... I do, I need them. Know, uh, <laughs> carry on, tell us what he's saying. He's, uh, I think he has inspired himself a lot uh, by um, the former coaches he had, like uh, Pastor in Seged or uh, Talant in uh, Kielce. So it's a big thing for him, and he's talking a lot about them, actually. I think uh, it's a big inspiration for him. It's and that's why I think he, I think he, he's there, because of, of the work others put in, and he was learning from them. But also he is uh, extra motivated, of course, to... To, his, win, to beat them. To beat his teacher. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, come here, can I, uh, because look, Tell me again that nobody in Vesprem wants to beat the absolute you-know-what out of Kielsa because of what happened three years ago. Yeah, I think, yeah, probably a lot of people... But no one's saying it, right? <clears throat> We're not t talking so much about it, as I said, but probably the fans are completely into it, and uh, that's also a good thing, you know. Can I go on to what you're going to well, say? Well, I wanted to know, I mean, carry on with that, but I wanted to know, and the fans do, we're in the locker room... Tell us what happens in the locker room when you get in here. Before before you get in for the game, is this where things get really serious? Do you have fun in here? Like, give us some little insider info about what happens in this room. Keep it, uh, keep it clean, please. <laughs> please. Uh, before the match, I am always a warming mark in the, 
outside. I, I, normally, I'm not here in the, in the dressing room. There is half of them, more or less, they are here in the dressing room, but I don't know what, what they do. Mm -hmm. I am warming up. And rituals. Any weird rituals in the teams? Yes, but this is a thing which should stay, you know, in, in the locker room. <gasps> but secrets. yeah, We want to know. Or one. <laughs> course, you don't have to tell us who, but what is a weird ritual? I had uh, one goalkeeper, uh, Matthias Andersson, he had a lot of it rituals. You weren't supposed to mention the name. I was just going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I am, because he knows that it was like this and we were sometimes making fun of it, but we have to respect everybody's rituals and habits, Absolutely. you know. That everybody is, someone is listening music, someone is stretching, someone is Absolutely. moving, someone is warming Some up. guy's putting on his right sock, his jersey, then his left sock and so on and so forth. Listen, we haven't got any more time. Quentin, merci bien. Merci à vous. Uh, Julien, uh, I was going to say Jinkuya. Correct, I really appreciate it. And uh, we're going to bring on two more guys. And thanks for coming, but stay with us, please, because uh, at the end we're going to do a little bit of something. So 28 teams started on this journey in four groups. Thousands of hours of training, hundreds of hours of uh, matches. It's difficult to condense them all into a few minutes, but we've tried. Just watch out for your favourite team here. I'm going for one of the best seasons I've ever seen in the Champions League. Four great teams from Group A made it here. Four great champions. I love that. Some great games, some great goals. And time to welcome our next two guests. From Barcelona. I don't know why they call themselves that, but they do. It's uh, Gonzalo Pérez de Vargas. Uh, Gonzalo, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Que bueno verte aquí. Uh, you look like Mexican, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a Mexican or sound like a Mexican. I sound, sound like a sound. sound like okay. And uh, from Varder, uh, Christian Disseger, the only German, bar the referees, I have to say, uh, appearing in the final four in the Langsess this year. Schön dich wieder zu sehen. Danke, schön auch dich wieder zu sehen. Oh yeah, uh, du auch. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I did okay. Uh, so look, we did it the last time. Um, just because Gonzalo Perez de Vargas tried to be funny with me, he's getting it in the ear right now. Uh, let's talk suits. And we have three teams that actually wore a suit. And Barcelona come 
A bit more casual. Yeah, more casual, more comfortable, you know. But I, I must say, I think these trainers need to be pointed out. I'm absolutely loving these. Can we just... Are they, these? Team are they team trainers? Uh, no. They're Personal. getting minor yeah, run for their money. Look at this. What do you think? What are you going to? What are you going to give? Uh, okay. Christian with the, the buttons. <laughs> Christian looks very nervous over there. I think mm. very smart, mm. and I love that he look bit, bit casual down here. But I'm going to go. You know, it, it's not crazy, so I'm going to go with another eight and a half because it's very smart. And I'm going to have to... <laughs> it's like a fashion show. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Director, well done. Why not? What a I, shot. I enjoy this. And and we're not going to leave you out. Let's start from the bottom. There we go. Get <laughs> so my shoe out of the way. Just because it's not as smart, but you're really pulling it back up with these trainers, we're going to go with an eight. But they are fantastic. OK, thank you. Both of them very, very good. By the way, can, oh, I, just, the can I just say about uh, Gonzo that he, he wears these... Pink. Are you still wearing the pink trainers? Not only for uh, the month of October. He wears for the month of October for breast, breast cancer yeah. awareness. Yeah, he wears. Oh. He wears. Isn't that I'm going to wear it the next uh, the next season also. That's wow. that's why you're getting a bit of love from me now just because you do that. Okay. The Mexican Respect. thing is still in my head, but I love it. Living through your trainers, that's great. Mm -hmm. Love it. Good? How's the whole? How's everybody yeah. feeling? What's 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 going on in the in the teams at the moment? You probably all had training this morning. How's everybody feeling? Go on, Christian. You might as well say something. Everybody's feeling great. We are happy to be here. Um, somehow grateful. We feel good. We had a little bit hard travel yesterday with uh, 11 and a half hours, but except that we are really happy to be here. For us, uh, we came here first, so now it's even uh, harder for us to wait until the, until the, um, the game. Uh, we're looking forward to play this semi-final. Uh, our journey has been really good till here and we want to put the cherry on the top. You're dead I, right. I just want to ask there, Go now ahead. why did you, I mean 11 and a half hours, that is hard going. Why did you decide to come a day early and why wouldn't you think of doing that? Surely you want a few more days to get here, to settle in? I don't know, I think it's a tradition here in Barcelona. I remember the first final 14 years ago, we came to Germany uh, like one week before. That maybe was too much. Wow! <laughs> and I think it's uh, okay to get uh, ready to get uh, comfortable with the the situation. But it's uh, up to the coaches and the staff, and uh, we don't we don't have nothing to say. We gotta, you need to ask. You, you need to ask to get a day early. I'll, I'll, <laughs> we'll, 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 he can answer this after this because we 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 just have to uh, show how you guys got here because you're always there or thereabouts. But last year was a big blip. But this is how they've done it this year. They've blown everyone away. Well, if you're a neutral, you've got to really admire the way uh, Barcelona have played this year. I mean, I, I have to say, when I watch the games, uh, Gonzalo, I, 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 just, I just love that new uh, playing philosophy. But if I can, if I can make one observation, uh, you do a lot of fast breaks, right, on, on the team. It's a, it's a big thing. But you never give the ball to the right wing, to Alex and to Victor Tomas. It always goes the other side. Is this, a, is this part of the plan? Yeah. Uh, you're you're saving. Are you saving it for? Are you saving it for the final four? There's something we don't know about. I think you're wrong. It's only I don't pass to Victor. Alex <laughs> is getting the. He's the he's pass. faster, yeah. is he? No, it's uh, only against Victor. It's uh, what, 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 it's, is it's there personal. A, it's, uh, personal. It's a personal thing. Uh, I, I understand. The more he has for the ball, the less. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's that thing on his sleeve, isn't it? It's, no, I think it's uh, as he is so insistent, uh, trying to get the ball and trying to look uh, to, other, to the don't, other side. Don't look at his eye, is it? No, and trying to it. avoid the, the eye contact. Brilliant. Uh, well, Christian, I have to say, now, uh, you've played Barca twice, two defeats. What makes you She's think... It's easy, easy, what, Hannah. What makes you think you're going to be able to win? I have to ask. <laughs> what makes you think this is going to be any different? <laughs> well, it's the final four and miracles happened before and I really believe in miracles, so why shouldn't it happen again? So can you can you, you told sing, me. You told me. Can you sing that song? 
I believe in miracles. Do you know it? No. No, 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 no that's I'm it. Not that, that's it. Finished. That's it. Finished. Do you really, can, can I just say, do you really believe, like having looking, uh, looking back over those last years, that it, this is a kind of a miracle tournament, that there's no, nothing matters that's happened before? Well, we could stay at home for that, like, if you say it like that. So <laughs> What a great answer. I'm worried, <laughs> I'd be worried if I were you, Gonzalo. Now, but, no, but it's true, and literally anything, that's, oh, yeah. that's the fantastic thing about handball, the Final Four, anything can happen. Like you say, like we've seen miracles happening you know, on the road to Cologne already, so who knows what will happen this weekend. I saw a statue move, I'm sure, on, on, on the way down to the uh, arena today, or maybe there was a tear falling from the eye, you know, I don't know. Now, everybody said <laughs> no chance... No money, no team when it came to Varder. But they've proved all the doubters wrong. This is how they got here. That's the miracle right there, Christian. I don't care what anybody says. When you look, when I looked at that team at the start of the season, and I said to myself, "That's who they've got." Uh, you came, of course, uh, a little bit later. Um, I mean, what is it? Uh, Milos Avliev said, "My teammates are the biggest heroes I know." Is that is that how you feel about that team? Yeah, you were talking about the Hollywood story for Kelso, I think. Oh no, for West Brom, I think we have the even bigger story. We didn't get money. We had lots of problems that the club could break down after the season. Sorry, did you say you didn't get money? Not full. But some didn't get for nine months money and it's kind of special and I think this was the reason why the team is even closer. We are not really teammates, we are more like great friends, brothers and we don't have anything to lose, and uh, what happened in Seged, if you see the first half, how horrible we played, and we changed that in the second half. And, and you were watching that game, by the way. Yeah, you were, unfortunately, you were the, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I didn't want to watch, to be honest. <laughs> well, at, at, when, the fight, wow. when the fight broke out, I think you wanted to jump in, right? You wanted to jump mm -hmm. over the barrier and get involved. Yeah, I had a little bit problems with the security there. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would you have jumped in? No. No. Too professional. I prefer to say on my zone, like a, like a goalkeeper, I prefer to say out of contact. Okay, I like it. You want to ask him something? Huh? Do you want to ask him something? Well, I, 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 I've got one here. You can, you can. Yeah, yeah, I, because I'm interested, because this is the rerun. You spoke about those two matches that, uh, it's like deja vu. <coughs> like both of these matches have been played here before, different times, different years, different semi-final, final. But you played in that game where Vardar beat you with that uh, Sindrich goal, mm. which, by the way, had some of the best commentary I've ever heard. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> so, but what I wanted to say was, you wrote in an interview, you said, we adapted to Vardar when we played that game. Think, what did you mean by that? I think uh, uh, we had a different team as we had today. Uh, we were changing our way to, to play. We, were, we weren't running that much. We weren't doing the clear fast breaks. And uh, I think we changed that because we played against Kiel and the, the result was slow. And uh, we think or we thought at that time that it was uh, the right uh, solution. And I think it was a, a bad solution after the time. It's easy to yeah, say. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but now... Um, well, now, look at you. Scoring goals <laughs> from your own... There he is. He's such a baby there face. Is. Uh, Look that's at why that. You that's why you had to grow that beard, right? I, I, because you I'm really gonna look like... I'm not going to do it again. You really look like you're about 15. Mm. OK, look, uh, we're going to go to uh, a, a little bit of um, uh, sort of social media uh, stuff that we want yeah. to ask you, just to see what people have to say. But we'll come back to uh, to discuss one of the greatest semi-finals ever and whether it could happen again. So yeah, you, yeah. you go. So we've had some fans, that. lots of fans, actually getting in touch. We've had a lot of questions, but this is for you. OK, now, have you been learning new handshakes for your teammates? 
<laughs> no, it's kind of a ritual, as you as you said before. Uh, when I do it, I try to feel. Uh, I was just going to say, I want to. Mm. Do a quick Ooh. one. My yeah. hands are show, uh, sweating. Show, okay, so, so so show me show me one of your favorite. Oh, okay, just this, that's the, yeah. Okay, that's the great. jellyfish also. Jellyfish, love that one. Show me if you were to make one up for me. What would it be? But we need to fog, uh, to work for it. Yeah, you oh, did. Oh, it's it's tactics. It's tactics, it. it. You can't just you, you don't, don't just get it for free. I can't just get it. Doesn't that easy. Wow. Okay. So maybe next year. Maybe. Oh, can't wait. Okay, fantastic. Right. They are great, by the way. They are fantastic. Uh, and there's an individual one for everybody, yeah. isn't there? Mm -hmm. I don't know this how you remember a, them all. If you remember it, it means also that you are focused and you're trying to. Did you say focused? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It sounded like something else. Carry on. <laughs> right. Next question for both of you. So from you, Guga. Uh, who will become MVP for both of you? Mm. Mm. It's nearly always a and goalkeeper, Gonzo. You know, Sunday, 8 o'clock. Yeah, I think it's for sure one of the players of uh, the team that wins the tournament. That's easy to say. Uh, goalkeepers have a good chance, right? Always goalkeepers have uh, yeah, are, key, are a key factor during the Final Four. But uh, I hope one of my teammates is going to be MVP uh, next Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about you, Christian? Any guesses? Oh, it's hard to say. We have four teams, let's say 70, 64, 70 players. Everybody could be here. So we will see on Sunday. Uh, even all right, on. no one that sticks can I, out. Can I play a little game? I've got one can more I, question. I forget about no, it. No, I'm going to ask you. Christian, can you say something in Macedonia? Oh, I like it. Good, good one. Cut me off there. Come on. Nice words. <laughs> yeah, I can say something in Macedonian, but. Uh, you're not gonna like it. I yeah, I understand a lot, and uh, I can talk with my teammates if they talk Macedonia. I can answer in English. That's no problem for me. But uh, if I talk, it sounds like. Uh, do you know what? I, nobody <laughs> wants to not listen to that. Yeah, okay. no, do you know what someone told me? They said he's a he's a Macedonian in a German body. That's what they said. He just That's a has, compliment. He's fit into yeah. the thing. Now, listen, does it, I want to play one quick game because I asked the guys over... At, wait, would you play a game with us, please, uh, Gonzalo? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? OK. So I asked the guys over in, the, over in the Vardar what Christian loves to do, and they said he loves to play charades, or, you know, charade, charade or something like this. But they said he doesn't know how to do all the actions, he doesn't know the names of movies and he can't do it, but that by staring at people you're able to transfer the information from your head into their head. Is that true? That's what they I said, so we're I've going to do it. I've never heard of that. So you, well, you, you're staring at me now, and I'm already okay. getting glad. I was, we'll, yeah. was going to say it's quite intense, isn't it? He, he has, has look at that there. Look, How so we're, I'm going to... Will you close your eyes, please? Ah, will you close your eyes? Intense. Don't, no, close and put your hands over it so you can't see. I don't trust you. I do trust you. Okay, so I'm going to give you the name of something here. There's the name. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? All right. Yeah. Can you can you focus your mind, look okay. into Gonzalo's eyes, and see? Can you transfer that knowledge over? Okay, this is going to be. This is magic. This is powerful. Just look at him. Look at him. Stare at him. Don't don't tell him now. Just look. Game of Thrones. <gasps> you is is that it? I can't believe it. That is one hell of a stare. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's too easy. That's right. Every, that's what I would have gone for. I would have gone for that. Right. Okay. So this one's a bit, okay. bit harder. Do you know that movie? Do you know it? Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll try this one. Okay. So if his stare's different. This, you give him a different stare. Different stare. Different stare. Very intense. I'm not getting anything. You're not getting anything? Well, like water or something. Is he close? Mm, not he's not telling, he's not telling. The ocean, something. You need to stare dun, dun, at him. Dun, 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 dun. No. Get away. <laughs> Get away. Wow. That is a talent. Maybe you should Just. do that instead of handball. Nice work on that. Well done. Igor Karacic told me you could do that. Is that not true? I don't know. <laughs> first that first is, time that ever. That is a trick, isn't it? That is a trick. Oh, wow, yeah. well done. I'm, I'm bloody amazed. Well done. Oof. I'm absolutely amazed. OK, listen. You've lost a semi-final to, uh, to Varda in the past by one goal. But Christian, you've been here with Kiel. In the year that Vesprem won, where you lost a very narrow semi-final as well. What's the feeling? I mean, can you, like, does that feeling of losing that semi-final drive you on to make sure it doesn't happen again this time around? Well, I tried to put everything behind from 2016. It was one of the most horrible 
scenarios I could have and losing an extra time against West Brom and playing for the third place. So, yeah, I'd want to try a restart this year, want to be better. And of course, everybody wants to play the final. Yeah. Ge genuinely, it, when you've gone through something, like you said, that's so horrible, how long does it take to shake that off? Do, do, do you really have to train yourself to just think, move on, move on, or does it stay with you? No, it didn't really stay with me. It was uh, in Germany. You play three days later after yeah. final four, so it doesn't matter. You have to be focused on the next game. Yeah. And what about you, Gonzalo? Was that was that hard? Uh, it was tough. Yeah. Uh, the way also the way we lost that game. Uh, it wasn't a uh, extra time, but it was uh, the uh, last the, second. The bitter, the bitter buzzer. Yeah. Um, but I think for us it was more uh, painful last year getting out of last the competition uh, yeah. uh, so early. That's the game. Yeah, listen. That is the game. Stand up. Julien, will you come back in, please? And also, Quentin. Oh, he's opened the button. No, he hasn't. Oh. Come, you come, Quentin, come over here. Come over Open here beside us. Come over here. Uh, Julien, come over here beside us there. And will you guys stand up yep. as well? Stand up, stand up. It has been an absolute pleasure to have the four of you here for taking the time out of your, your busy schedules because it's, it, it's tough. We know that. And to have to talk rubbish uh, to, to people like us. You are my fire. Oh, my God. Um, but listen, this is what it's all about, right? This is what it's all about. You're not allowed to touch it. Apparently, it's, it's bad luck, right? But this is what it's all about. This is what you're playing for on, uh, on Saturday in the semi-finals. Good luck to all of you. Have you anything to say to the boys before we yeah, go? Yeah, massive good luck. And I guess enjoy yourselves. It's going to be fantastic, whatever happens. So, yay. Here's to an excellent weekend. Thank you. So that's it from the Locker Room Show. Hope you've enjoyed it watching at home. Thank you again to the boys. Thank you, Hannah. That was great. Thank I really you. enjoyed that. Yay. That was fantastic. <laughs> and to all of you, make sure you get to a TV set. You might hear something like this. Go easy now. It might be a rocket into the top corner, a last second decider, or an unbelievable finish to accomplish the impossible. When Europe's best handball players score, it's not just their colleagues in the crowd that go crazy. Commentators lose their stuff sometimes as well. Lean back, listen and enjoy. Oh! Kingo, Lasca, Fed, Jukic, sin sangla y desequilibrado. No angle there, and quite goal though, put away. That's an excellent finish to the first half. Oh my goodness me, what a shot. Fantastic! Intercepted, Hampus Fana goes down the other end alone. Oh, that's incredible, Hampus Fana. Alonso, pass an extremo. Oh, it's a goal, Nadal. Extraordinary. In the traffic. Oh, the pépite de Nicolas Claire. Is that to believe? Next variant. The anspiel in the dritten stock. Dennis Christophan. Let's go. Got his goal. Lovely goal. Ladies and gentlemen, that is fantastic handball. Snyggt spelat hela vägen här. Gästerna briljerar till 13 lika. Off the post, and that's what Mahé is there for. That's a brilliant bit of follow-up play by Mahé. Klasse. Ein Highlight nach dem anderen. Karacic, Karacic out to Dibra from no angle. Oh my goodness me! What a goal! Timur Dibra! Oh, did you see that? Nick Savic. Oh, that was great! 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 Oh, that was great!
le but Quel but Quel but dans les tout derniers instants Que c'est cruel, que c'est dur pour Montpellier qui croyait...